if you've seen the news today, you probably would have seen that the Methodist Church made the news for a big reason that we voted through the same sex marriage. And it was, it was a big day for a variety of reasons. And there was in the room, it felt not tense, but there was a real presence of the seriousness and the, and the hurt on, on both, both sides of the debate. And it was really held. And it's, it's quite, it's a, it's a really difficult describe, feeling to describe. It's the only way I can really dis try and explain how it felt. And people heard each other. People, people listened and everyone was very, very passionate, but passionate in a, in a kind way. The vote went through, which you probably know. And I think before I arrived at conference, I, I wondered whether whichever way it went, there'd be like, like, way, jubilation, but there wasn't. There were, there were tears. There were, there were tears from everybody. And I was reminded in the Psalms, you know, when God, God holds and treasures those tears. So it wasn't this, it wasn't this jubilation. It was just, this is, this is what we've done. This is what the conference feels is right. And now we need to hold that pain and that hurt from, from everybody and pray for the Holy Spirit to help do some healing. Um, I, I've got some friends who I, I voted, I voted for it. And I've got a lot of friends who didn't want it to happen. And so I reached out to them and really just try to help them in what they're feeling right now is and it's that kind of are they going to leave the church will they and i just I sincerely hope that they don't because i'm reminded that this conversation happened when they voted for female ministers to come into the church and when they voted for divorcees to be able to marry in church and the conference has been it's had this painful conversation a few times <clears throat> And we, and we kept together, we managed it. So it's my hope and my prayer that we still managed to stay together, stay together as a family. Other stuff happened. It wasn't just the same sex marriage debate. There were other things that happened during the day. So uh, we voted about the theology of safeguarding. I stood up and had quite a lot to say about that. And we heard an interesting report about Methodist Ministers Housing Society and uh, the change in business model that they need to have they need to have a change of business model because at the minute if they don't change I won't have a um <laughs> one of ours to retire do it was it was an exhausting day it was a, a tiring day but it was I felt very very proud to have been part of that history making and it's tough to think that there's a whole one more big day of conference to do because there's still so much stuff, so much stuff to get through because we wanted everybody to feel like they had a voice heard, which means that today when normally we finish at lunchtime, we're finishing at four. I, I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll fill you in what happens in the rest of the day. And don't forget you can watch the live stream and keep up to date with what's going on. Okay. Thanks for listening.